Ah, hello, trickies and trickers. Well, it's another day of Star Trek Timber, so let's start things off with the. Yeah, so let's yeah, so let's start things off with final mission. The Enterprise has traveled to the Pentaris system, where Captain Picard must mediate a dispute among some miners on the fifth planet. Once the course receives word that he has been accepted to Starfleet Academy and for his final mission, he will accompany Picard on a shuttle trip to Pentaris Five. A distress call comes in from Gamillan 5, where an unidentified vessel has entered orbit and is giving off lethal doses of radiation. Picard orders Riker to take the Enterprise to resolve that situation, while he and Wesley travel in a shuttle sent by the miners, commanded by Captain Durgo. En route, Durgo's shuttle malfunctions and they are forced to crash land on the surface of a harsh, desert-like moon. Though they are unharmed, the shuttle is beyond repair, and its communication systems and food replicators are disabled. Durgo admits he has no emergency supplies on board, so they are forced to search for shelter and water. With a strike order, Wiss identifies some caves and a potential source of water some distance away, and the three set out across the desert. Reaching a cave, they find a fountain-like water source, but it is protected by a crystalline force field. Durgo attempts to use a phaser to destroy the field, but this activates a burst of energy from the fountain, which encases the phaser in a penetrable shell that causes a rock slide. Picard pushes, pushes Wesley out of the way, but is severely injured in doing so. Uh-oh. Meanwhile, the Enterprise has arrived at, at, has arrived at Gamelon 5, finding the unidentified ship as an abandoned garbage scow filled with radioactive waste. Their initial attempt to, attra to attach thrusters to the barge to propel it through the asteroid belt to the Gamelon's sun remotely fails, but Commander Riker is forced to attempt to tow the barge themselves using a tractor beam exposing the crew to, to the lethal radiation. Oh boy. As Wesley continues to analyze the force field, Durga becomes impatient and attempts to breach the field again. This time the energy burst encases him as well, killing him. Picard, weak from his injuries, gives Wesley advice about the Academy and tells him he's proud of him. Wesley refuses to give up. Meanwhile, the Enterprise, despite the radiation level despite the rising radiation levels on board, which are nearly lethal, manages to get the barge headed into the sun and speeds off to help in the search for the shuttle. Wesley continues to study the fountain and devises a plan to disable the force field. He fires his phaser at the fountain to attract the energy defense mechanism, but reprograms it using his tricorder to disable the field instead and is finally able to access water. Yay! <clears throat> Shortly thereafter, the Enterprise locates the wreckage of the mining shuttle, and Picard and Wesley are rescued. As Picard is carried from the cave, he tells Wesley that he will be missed. Mm-hmm, and he will indeed. So overall, I'd say this is a pretty darn good episode, and it definitely has lots of character development for the character of Wesley, so that's pretty good. So overall, I give Final Mission 4 Warp Cores out of 5. We'll join me a bit as we take a look at The Loss. So, until then, live long and prosper, everybody.